Welcome to Huffington Post. My name is Theo Randall and this is my recipe for the weekend. Now this recipe is a dish called scottadito. It's basically like lamb chops which have been beaten out. It comes from like, you get it all over Italy but I've seen a lot in Rome. And with it we're going to do um, a kind of stew, a chickpea stew. And then we're just going to pan fry our um, beaten out lamb chops. Sounds very, very simple. It is. It's very delicious as well. Okay, so just get a hot pan, add a bit of olive oil and then just chop onion, about half an onion. Nice and fine, and we're just going to do that lovely onion, celery, carrot. So, nice and fine. And then just finely slice the onion. A bit of celery. Not too much, just enough to give it that sort of flavour of, background flavour of celery. And then we're going to add our carrot. So, just finely chop the carrot. Nice and fine, it doesn't have to be perfect, just so it cooks reasonably quickly. And then just mix those all together. This one's quite good to add a little bit of salt, that'll get the, uh, the water out of all those vegetables. That's cooking away, so while that's cooking, we're going to make our little uh, lamb chops. So we're just going to cut this, leave the fat on there, it's quite nice the fat because it really when it cooks, obviously that fat is the flavour, so it's very important to keep the fat on, or some of the fat on. And then cut nice, even pieces of lamb. So you've got these kind of chops like that. Keep going back to your, um, your sofrito. Very important that doesn't overcook. Just cut that for another minute or so, won't be too long. And then we're going to get our, our bit of cling film and, and then just put the lamb chops on the board, get a bit of cling film over the board like that. And then whatever you've got, I mean, that's a cleaver, but a rolling pin or anything sort of quite sort of heavy that you can um, smash this out. Even a pan, a saucepan would be quite good. So just bash down, it's very important you bash down straight, just straight down. Watch your fingers. They just sort of go straight down. And as you can see, all that fat sort of come out of the lamb. So you've got these lovely, kind of almost like lollipops of lamb. Okay? So, we'll get rid of that cling film. Now, let's go back to our um, inzimino, so the chickpea stew. We're gonna add some tomatoes, so we've just got some uh, like tomato passata here. Just add that. And then we're gonna add our chickpeas to that. So this is our, that's about half a can of chickpeas or a jar, so just add some of those. Then we're gonna get some chard. Now I'll get rid of this red board. We've got some, that's just Swiss chard. I've just cut the tops off and blanched it in boiling salted water and that's what it looks like, so it's just kind of like that with the, the stalk. You can add more stalk, stalk if you want. So just add the charred leaves, add that, and then that's pretty much it. So it's just celery, carrot, onion, tomato, and Swiss chard. And then we're going to check the seasoning. So salt, I know it needs salt. Plenty of black pepper. And then we just check that. Mm. Really nice. That contrast of flavour, textures, the chickpeas, not crunchy but sort of quite firm. And that sweet chard and the carrots and the tomatoes, delicious. Right, so that's done. We'll put that to one side. Let's do our um, the scottadito, okay, the lamb. So, really hot pan. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the, the lamb, we're just going to make sure the lamb has got some 
seasoning on it and olive oil. So we put the that on, and then we got so we put some oil on top of our our lamb, and then just rub that oil all into both sides of the lamb. And then we're going to add salt and pepper. Now you can grill this if you're you know if you've got a barbecue outside. It tastes even better barbecued, but just as well, it's nice in a pan as well. So pan's really hot. And then we're just gonna pop in a bit of oil just to help it along. Then add the chops. And just cook those. And just let, let them sort of get a kind of crust, even for like a minute or even two minutes on either side to get this lovely kind of crust where that fat starts to render down. Okay, so while that's there finishing off, we're just gonna make a little bit, very quick sort of sauce. We're just gonna do some fresh chili and a bit of parsley. So, so we're just gonna roughly chop the chili up. And then we're gonna add a bit of parsley, a little bit of flat parsley, and then just chop the parsley and the chili together. And this is just a quite a nice way to sort of finish off the dish. It gives you that kind of fresh sort of heat of the chili and that parsley, got a lovely kind of fresh parsley taste. Make a bowl, put our chili parsley in there, add a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, a bit of olive oil, and a squeeze of lemon. Okay, now let's take our lamb chops off, just let them sort of rest a minute, put them to one side. And then we'll plate up. So make sure this is warm. You can serve this. You can cook, let's say, like, I don't know, 10 or 12 of these and do the, on a kind of oval plate, brilliant thing for sharing. Or you could just do it like a main course, like this. So check that seasoning again. Make sure everything tastes really tasty. Mm. Delicious. And then a nice spoonful of that beautiful Inzamino. Right. And then get your Scottadito lamb chops nicely around the plate. And then get your sauce, the chili, a bit more olive oil. Chili, fresh chili parsley, a bit of lemon juice and olive oil, and then just sprinkle that over the lamb chops. And there you have a delicious lamb scottadito with inzimino of chickpeas, Swiss chard, carrots, and Swiss chard.